assalamu alaikum everyone in today's video we are going to discuss a deal equations in the previous lecture we have discussed e fluorescence but now we are dealing with the deal equations so uh, welcome to my channel and uh, uh, i hope that you have subscribed to my channel and like my videos thank you so much for your cooperation and uh, now uh, we are going to start our lecture so first we see that what is the deal equation so we are going to see the short introduction of it so if you see an introduction of it that they derive from the latin word de liquicare which means to start melting away or to liquid to be in liquid so what you are doing to air you are absorbing a liquid from the atmosphere so the word de liquescence also means to observe the moisture which is present in your air okay so the hydro uh, hygroscopic and deliquescent these are two types of substances so the hygroscopic substance means it is really absorb water from the atmosphere and form a hydrate okay and the deliquescent substance mean it absorb water from the air until it form a solution so deliquescent uh, uh, solutions or a substance when they absorb water they are going to convert into the solution but it, it doesn't mean that your hygroscopic substance become convert into the solution form it never happened they just take a small amount of water vapors from your atmosphere okay but the deliquescence they convert it themselves into the solution so it is uh, this process is just a reverse of your efflorescence it is just reverse of it because in efflorescence what is going to happen your hygroscopic substance is going to convert into your anhydrous substance mean in this process in efflorescence we are going to what losing water we are converting hydrated substance into anhydrous but in deliquescence we are converting an anhydrous substance into a hydrated substance mm -hmm. now such substances uh, are said to be deliquescent which are uh, and the process is termed as deliquescence and the substances which are deliquescent uh, and uh, so many pharmaceutical uh, crystals absorb water vapors and readily form the environment and they are considered as hydro scopic substances and another term uh, which i have to clear in your mind is the difference uh, between a deliquescent okay a difference between this deliquescent and a dry substance sorry for the very bad writing so i can uh, i can't do anything because i am writing on the screen of my mobile and it is really really difficult to write on it so ignore this point just focus on the lecture okay so deliquescent substance means it absorb all the substances or it is uh, very uh, in this form of solution but uh, the word uh, dry uh, the people are wrongly considered uh, that the dry means having no water in it but it is a wrong concept because a dry substance contain uh, some amount of water vapors in it for example if i give you some example so the dry a uh, vegetable drug it is a type of drug and it contain 12% moisture water vapor in it so it doesn't mean uh, that all the dry substances contain no water so it can contain water okay so this is the misconception in the mind of various uh, students so you have to keep in mind that some amount of water could be present for example 12% water could be present okay so this was the difference now uh, how you are acceptable to uh, uptake the water and what are the adverse effect of it uh, by uptaking the water they can be phase transformation okay uh, how phase transformation first your substance is in the form of solid okay then after this deliquescent process your substance is going to convert into liquid or in the form of solution so this is the phase transformation that your whole substance uh, uh, appearance or phase get different then there is also chemical degradation can be occur during this process and this solution rate can be occur and variation uh, can could be occur so now uh, there is a definition of it that it is a process of taking up water uh, vapors from the exposed uh, atmosphere when it exposed to it and uh, 
converting into the hydrated liquid phase so what are the deliquescent materials so deliquescents are the material or the substances which have strong affinity to absorb the moisture from the atmosphere whenever they exposed to it so examples of them are for example calcium chloride magnesium chloride sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide sodium lactate uh, ferric aluminium citrate potassium bicarbonate so all of these are the example of deliquescence material now let's see the process of deliquescence so as you can see here this is the solid like substance and the absorption can occur first the water vapors from the atmosphere get a condenses on the surface of it like that as you can see here and then after that the liquescence occur and a whole solution form occur and uh, absorb and surround your particle so when when it happens it happens when the vapor um, when the vapors are going to condense on the surface of solid so water vapors from the air condenses on the surface of the solid and form very concentrated solution which have vapor pressure lower than the average vapor pressure the solution so the solution before continues to take up water until its vapor pressure of uh, the pressure become equals to the vapor pressure in the air so chr in the deliquescence point can also be called as critical relative humidity so the critical relative humidity is the of a salt to define a relative humidity of the surrounding atmosphere which uh, at which the material begins to, to absorb the moisture so there is a critical uh, temperature and there is a critical relative humidity so it is a point at which the your salt is begin to absorb moisture okay so below what is happening below critical and above critical relative humidity so below it the solid absorb minimum amount of your moisture and above it the solid start to de uh, condensate a film of uh, solution on it now what are the disadvantages of this process so at the deliquescence occur water is picked up by your sample unacceptable and changes uh, can be occur for example phase transformation many uh, physical and chemical properties can change physical stability can also change for example physical infl inflammations are that uh, decrease in the dissolution variation in water content crystallization can also occur and power caking can also occur chemical uh, reaction can happen for example hydrolysis and oxidation can occur and they make your drug more and more unstable okay now let's this is what is the method of preparation so method of prevention so you have to use tight uh, container for them uh, so that the uh, no more change in the physical and chemical properties so and you also have to inert a powder ingredient into it so that uh, there will be perfectly absorption of water uh, so uh, the powder in elements could be a surfactant could be emulsifier okay so in some cases it is unnecessary to add a powder because it also can affect the property of your drug second is that the storage you have to store them in the low humidity environment because if more, if you more given the humidity environment they will get unstable so you have to close them in a well closed container and drying agent should be used in them applications of it is that as a deliquescent okay and hydroscopic cargo so let's see uh, owning uh, they, uh, they have very high effective for the water so such substances use the uh, desiccants desiccants have high affinity with the water and uh, these substances are often used as deliquescent and they are considered sulfuric and phosphoric acid some uh, commonly used to protect against the moisture damage so this is the function of deliquescent that they are going to protect against the moisture damage used in the hydroscopic cargo for example koa and coffee and various type of nuts and grains they are particularly uh, exposed to the condensation and humidity area so they are going to protect you 
these substances are used in chemical industry also to remove the waste material and the effective uh, cal2 is used in the road dusting it uh, spread in the form of powder and flakes and it absorb more than the weight of water and form the liquid it also used in the chemical industry to remove the water from a particular substance and the property of the liquid is that it is utilized in the laboratory to make uh, the dry substances okay so this was all about the today's lecture in the next lecture we will going to discuss lyophilization but in today's lecture the process of deliquescence is uh, should be enough so i hope uh, that you will enjoy this lecture and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon to get the notification of all the videos which i uploaded thank you so much for watching this video um, take care of yourself allah face